What's going on everybody, it's Indikuba, and today I'm coming with you guys to give you guys this video, I guess. I, I don't know how to start this, honestly. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is called the Stripped Down Challenge, where you spend at least 10 plus minutes just, you know, talking about what's on your mind. I've actually been motivated to do this video by two of my friends, which is Sacred Fire Negro and Num Nexus. Um, they have both done this, and... Um, of course, like I, I bought this webcam for a reason, you know, I bought it so I can interact with you guys on a personal level. So I really think that this challenge itself is perfect because now I get to tell you guys a bit about my personal life. Um, I, I honestly don't know where to start, especially because I, I can't edit this video for this challenge. You cannot edit this video. So if I make a mistake or if I slip up or stutter, whatever. It's, it's going to be in this video for however long it will be. But, um, man, I, I really don't know where to start. I, I guess the, the main thing on my mind really is just um, how tough my life was growing up. Now, granted, um, you know, you guys can determine, like, how tough you think my life really was. Some people may think that it really wasn't tough. Some people may think it was probably the worst life ever. But, um Either way it goes, I mean, I'm, I'm still going strong to this very day. But um, my my life has been a tough one. Um, for starters, I grew up without a father. Um, that To see my mom actually struggle for years, countless years, I, I can't believe that I was so oblivious to it when I was a kid. You know, like, I didn't realize how hard she was struggling. Like, when I was a kid, I just thought, you know, she was going to work and then coming back. And, you know, that was the end of that. But... She was working her butt off to support me and my brother. Um, it, it, it was a tough life, man. You know, the, the only father figure I had in my life at the time was my brother, my older brother to be specific. Um, and then even at that, like, besides, you know, the whole like fatherless thing, school life really wasn't the best thing for me. Since the very beginning, I've been getting, you know, bullied and I think since a very young age, actually, I went through depression. So it's it's tough, you know, to know that you go to school, you know, a place where you're supposed to learn about so many new things. And then you meet new people, which is supposed to be a great experience just to find out that all they want to do is just make fun of you for whatever reason. Oh, your hair looks like this. Oh, you dress like this. Oh, you smell bad. Oh, whatever. Um it, it was it was a pretty bad experience man and honestly like throughout my um my grade school years like kindergarten through sixth grade i was i was a crybaby i'm not going to lie like i'm very kind-hearted um i don't like being mean to people at all that's not how i was raised and that's just not who i am like i i love making people happy and i love being happy so i guess that leaves a spot in my heart like open for people to take advantage of that and to do whatever it takes to bring me down and um it sucked because it happened a lot of times especially in fifth grade um where somebody who was like a brother to me took advantage of me and i i think it's better that i elaborate so um in fifth grade um I, I met this person during summer. He ended up going to my elementary school the um, the following year. And we were pretty much like brothers. We did everything together, playing video games, sports, homework, all that stuff. He was literally like my brother. And um, things was going good, you know. Um, we had the same fifth grade teacher, the same sixth grade teacher. And then seventh grade came, you know, junior high, we went to different schools. Um, he got into the wrong influences. That's that's really it. You know, he started smoking and drinking and to each their own. I mean, if that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. I mean, me, myself, I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I really don't want to deal with any of that type of stuff. But, um, you know, even though we went our separate ways, I thought, you know, things would be okay. You know, like maybe we would come back, you know, in high school and just kick it, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it was, I, I will never forget this day that he actually betrayed me. Now, it was, I was in eighth grade, and um, it was a Sunday. 
this was the um obviously the day after saturday um because um that saturday one of my friends i haven't seen in like two years came to visit so i was you know really happy to see him again but um again that sunday my mom is like super religious so there can be like a typhoon or like an earthquake or something we're still going to church so the thing that she didn't realize is that the day before um my brother got the his house key stolen and i got my wallet stolen and um i was like look mom i know you love going to church i respect that but today i have a strong feeling that we need to stay home and she just brushed off and said no we're going to church we went to church and um know that this is african church so this mug lasts forever so at 1 p.m like my brain just like snaps and like something bad just happened so um we leave at 2 p.m and um we arrive home to find out that um our door is unlocked um our house is torn up all the groceries we just got the day before have been taken which i don't whatever and um i run upstairs because you know it's a two-story building and my um uh, my nintendo wii is gone my brother's xbox 360 is gone and um yeah i pretty much went into a frenzy you know it, it, we called up all the neighborhood kids because we lived in an apartment and um we were trying to figure out what was going on um you know the dude who was like a brother to me was there too and um just he he told me some bs excuse pretty much i'll put it like that and um told me oh you know this person came in stole your stuff you know we tried to do everything we could to stop him but blah 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 so um I, I bought the story until the end of the day. You know, the end of the day, I, I just couldn't sleep anymore because I was afraid, like, what happens if you had, you know, the opportunity to break into our house when we were sleeping? I, I just could not sleep that night. But um, luckily enough, the next day, around 10 a.m., uh, my mom goes to um, check the mail, and, um, you know, she sees, like, these bags on our front porch, and um, it's it's our stuff. It's back with a note from one of our friends saying, um, I'm sorry about this. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, have any issues with you guys. Here's your stuff back. And, um, I know who, who the person was who dropped it off. He actually told his little brother to drop it off, uh, for him. But, um, when I turned on my Wii that same day, you guys already know that we has a message board. So what I did was I went to the message board and went to the day before to see if anybody was on it to find out that the person who was supposed to be like a brother to me was the person who broke into my house and stole my stuff. And he was lying to my face the entire time that same day. So that really created trust issues for me. Like I, I couldn't relate with anybody anymore. I was hurt. I was afraid. Like I was like, I, I want to be, you know, cool with all these people, but I'm afraid like they might end up coming they they might end up doing something like that you know so that really impacted me in um in school you know when i got into high school note that um i actually failed a grade I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you guys so i was a year behind but um when i finally got to high school i i couldn't connect with all the people i used to anymore in junior high you know it it, it wasn't easy for me you know, I, I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I, I tried so hard to like act like how I used to, but in the back of my head, I was like, man, you know, I, I can't trust anybody now. You know, anything is possible. And next thing you know, I just can't talk to anybody. And I went to a, an even deeper state of depression. And um, to make matters worse, people bullied me in high school. They did. Um, but to a certain extent, because I was on the football team. So by default, I was popular and they can't really bully me because, you know, like in, if you're in high school and you're a jock, you're automatically popular by default. So, um, I was bullied, but to a certain extent and, um, it just, it, it was a terrible experience. I really do not enjoy like my grade school experience, my middle school experience or my high school experience. You know, going through years of people saying, oh, you failed um, seventh grade. Oh, um, you're not going to get back on top. Oh, you're going to be a failure. Because the one thing that most people in high school thought was, 
I was going to be a failure. So I had, I just secluded myself from everybody. I was like, screw you all. I'm going to do me. And um, I did whatever it took to get back on track. I mean, I really disappointed my mom when I failed the seventh grade. And I wanted to make up for it. I didn't want to graduate in 2013. I wanted to graduate on time in 2012. So I sacrificed multiple summers. I sacrificed um, track, all that stuff, like doing summer school, night school, all that stuff taking extra classes just to get back on track. And eventually I did skip a grade. Um, I skipped the 10th grade and no, not the 10th grade. I skipped the 11th grade and um, was a senior on time, graduated and whatnot. But um, to know that I did all of that with no support, except from family, but uh, from no support, like no friends, no nothing. Like even the teachers didn't like me for whatever reason. Note that even though I was depressed, I was, I was in, a really good student. I didn't want to cause trouble with anybody at all. But for some reason, my coaches didn't like me, except for one of them, who was actually my my father figure next to my brother. And um, just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about people not liking me for some reason, but it was what it was. Um, at the end of the day, that's in the past. So I went off to, I went off to college and, um, I, I was doing my thing, you know, it, it was awesome to finally be out the house, you know, and um, finally learn how to be on my own. And um, when I, by the end of the first semester, things really weren't going well, you know, financial issues were coming in the way. And um, I met this one girl. Um, she was actually part of the squad that me and my brother went, uh, were in at the time. And um, I, I really, really liked her. I really did. And, um, we, we were, we were great friends. We really were. And, um, I told her how I felt about her and, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure she felt the same way at the time, but, um, of course, like I had financial issues. So the next semester I had to go back to my home city, but, um, I kept in contact with her. And, um, one year later back, um, in 2014, I came back to where I'm at, uh, where I am now. And um, at the beginning of the year, we hooked up and um, everything, at least in my eyes, seemed to have been fine, you know, because um, I'm in Texas. My college is in Texas. At the time, she was in New Mexico. And for, from where I stay, that's just a 30 minute drive. So um, I couldn't really get back into school because they messed up my schedule. So they screwed me over and I was out of school for six months. So I had nothing but free time. Um, that's when I really started taking YouTube seriously as well. And, um, I went to go see her every chance I got, you know, she, she meant everything to me. You know, she was the person who brought happiness into my life. And, um, you know, I, I thought everything was good. Even her roommates loved me. They swore I was like the greatest boyfriend any woman could ever have. Um, that's, that's their opinion. I mean, I have my own flaws, but it's cool to know that they feel that way about me. Um, yeah, just to find out that after three short months, even though I've known her for a long time, um, she broke up with me. And um, it was it was a terrible experience. The reason why she said she broke up with me makes no sense at all. Um, even if she so happens to watch this video, in the back of my head, I, I still doubt her reasoning as to why she broke up with me. Even if it is the truth, it just doesn't sit right with me. And... Um, it was terrible, especially what I heard afterwards. Um, I, I'm not going to go into detail about that because it was a rumor. Um, I don't know if it's the truth or not, so I'm not going to put it in this video as if I know exactly what happened. But um, if the rumor is true, which at the time, of course, I was heartbroken, um, then, yeah, what she did was completely messed up. But, um, yeah, safe to say that when she did break up, uh, when she did break up with me, she completely shattered me because, again, like, from a state of depression to finding somebody who you honestly like find true happiness in and then all of a sudden they just let you go you're not gonna your state of mind is not gonna stay the same like she actually broke me i was done like i i even remember like i i didn't upload videos for an entire week i didn't play any games for an entire week i remember that there was a day where i was just sitting 
not even sitting, just laying down because I was uh, I was actually rooming up with somebody because I had no place to stay at the time. Um, I was on this couch, but um, I was just laying down on the couch and I did not wake up for an entire day. Like she just damaged me brutally. And um, it took me a long time to get over her. Um, it, it just dropped me even deeper into depression. And um, I, I will never forget this, though. Um, my friend James, um, which, by the way, if you are watching this video, thank you so much for the advice that you gave me. Um, he told me one thing because he told me about his experience when he broke up or when him and his ex broke up, um, that there's going to come a point where you're just sick and tired of being like sick and tired like you're not gonna want to feel like this anymore you're just gonna be like screw it man i'm moving on and i respect him for that because um if you guys were to see the relationship he's in now oh my god like he has a fantastic relationship and i saw that and i'm like you know what it's it's probably time for me to make a change but i really couldn't make that first step i wanted to but i was still damaged and um it, it sucked, man. It really did. Um, I, I'm just going to fast forward because I, I kind of really don't want to talk about that anymore. But um, fast forwarding um, a few months later, um, you know, found out that she hooked up with somebody else um, claiming that, you know, she had to break up with me because her mom found out or whatever. Some BS excuse. Um, she has a kid now. And, um, she seems to be doing well. I'm happy for her, but, um, I just couldn't get her out of my mind. Like I honestly, I had to go to counseling and, um, it, it wasn't until I finally finished my counseling that I was actually finally able to get over her and, um, actually move on with my life. Um, I, I just didn't want to stay miserable for that long of a time over one woman i mean there's multiple women in this world and i guarantee you just she wasn't the one but um if there is one thing that my counselor did tell me is that everything happens for a reason and although like those words are commonly used it has a powerful impact because at that point that's when i started realizing that's true everything does happen for a reason i thought back into the past yeah i failed the seventh grade but if I didn't fail the seventh grade, my psyche, like, or just my mental state would not have finally matured enough for me to skip a grade and graduate on time. If I never broke up or if she never broke up with me, oh, uh, um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just trying to not cry right now. So, <sighs> who knows how it would have been if she never broke up with me, but, um, it was a good thing that she did because if she never did break up with me, I would have never learned so much about myself. Um, afterwards, I would have never gone to counseling and gotten that advice that I really needed. Um, my counselor really gave me that push forward that I needed to start anew. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just with all these bad things that's happened to my life, there was really one escape, just one thing that just always brought me happiness, no matter what the circumstances, and that's YouTube. Like, you guys wonder why I'm always so happy to upload videos, to interact with you guys, and all of that, because YouTube is my moment's reprieve. You know, this is where I go to, to enjoy myself, I guess. Like, I genuinely love making videos for you guys. It's awesome. It's It's been my my quote unquote gateway drug, I guess. Um, I love doing this and, um, you know, it, it's, it was just what got me through depression. Like even when I was, um, doing YouTube cause I started in 2012, but I didn't take it serious until like 2013, 2014. Um, it was because of me like being depressed and whatnot that, um, I wanted to just like find something different to do, you know? And then sure enough at the time, um, PlayStation All-Stars was coming out. I was hyped about the game. I was like, you know what? Let me just upload this to YouTube. And I enjoyed it. You know, I, I found ultimate happiness through doing this, you know? So, um, you know, 
I, I don't know how many tangents or tangents I've just gone through. Like, I don't even know if my story lined up correctly. Like, I'm, I'm just like throwing this out there as I'm trying to remember it because um, at this, um, at this moment, like all the stuff that I've talked about, I've already moved on from. You know, I try to leave that stuff in the past because um, my, my life is definitely better now. Um, things are turning out for the best for me and my family, you know, um, my, even my brother, like we're both pursuing our dreams, like YouTube and the video game industry is my dream. My brother's dream is to be in the NFL and just, just things are going better for us, I guess. Um, I wish my life could have been, you know, not as depressing as it was, you know, being bullied throughout my entire grade school year, my entire junior high years, and um, my entire high school years. But um, again, everything happens for a reason. And um, I'm, I'm glad that they did happen because if, they, if it never happened, I would not be the person I am today. So, um, you know, to all the people who did me wrong, honestly, thank you. You know, I grew from those experiences. You know, you did me wrong. It sucks. Normally, like, I would be very pissed off and I'll be like, forget all of you guys. But you know what? Thank you. Because if you did not do me wrong, if you guys did not damage me, I would not have learned a lot of things about myself. I would not have been able to grow from those experiences. And I would not be where I am right now. So for everybody who did me wrong, thank you. You know, I, I still would not keep in contact with you guys. Don't get me wrong. But thank you for doing what you did because you guys were the stepping stones to get me where I am right now. And of course, thank you to all the people who supported me throughout all the struggles. Of course, um, my mom and my brother, um, my coach. Um, heck, I'll even say his name in this video. Coach Kenner, uh, thank you so much. Um, he, he was literally like my father figure when my brother went off to college. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm not going to spin off on a tangent anymore. Um, moral of the story is everything happens for a reason, guys. Um, albeit good or bad, it's just God's plan for something greater for you, really, honestly. Um, I mean, heck, look look where I'm at today. Like, to, I'm at 8,000 subscribers, guys. You know, that's, that's honestly a blessing. You know, I would have never have thought that I'd even make it this far, especially at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, I only had a thousand subs, and the year before that, I only had a hundred. So, it's it's a blessing, you know. To it's a blessing to know that even though bad things have happened, with every good or with every bad, there's good. You know, yin and yang, and it's the truth. You know, so I say just stay positive, do your own thing, um, just keep your head up and stay strong. That's that's honestly it, man. Just, I, I, I don't know what else to say, guys, because I've, I've vented on what's on my mind. It might be random. It might be out of the blue, but that is what's on my mind. So, um, man, <laughs> I, I never thought that would have done any of this. You know, I just realized also if none of this even happened, I would have never have met the person in my life who's pretty much like my best friend now um again like note that when i was talking to you guys earlier the person who was like a brother to me put me into a state of de even deeper depression and trust issues and now getting over all of that i've actually met somebody through craigslist by trying to buy amiibo actually which was freaking awesome who's she's literally my best friend at this point i tell her absolutely everything so um yeah, it's just everything just fell into place, I guess. Like, if none of this happened, I would have never have met her, you know? Like, I I literally talked to her about everything and anything. Like, I, I completely opened up to her. She's the person that's actually gotten me out of my depression entirely. Because when I talk to her, like, she's had similar circumstances, you know? Um, she can relate to how I feel. That's why I can open up to her about everything, you know? She's literally my best friend, and I couldn't have asked for a better person for a best friend than her so um i i might as well just say your name in this video so i mean of course you know you who you are but i do want to say navi um 
thank you so much for selling me that Rosalina amiibo. And um, thank you for being pretty much my best friend to this very day. But that's that's it, guys. I, I have nothing else to say. Um, so that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Q underscore Nakuba. And for you mobile users, if you want to stay updated for all the videos that I upload, don't forget to ring my bell. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys later.